Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine and you have read by the title what today's video is going to be about. So there are a lot of things that I want to talk about in this video starting with a lot of you pointing out my acne telling me to stop using makeup to use less makeup because that is what is causing my acne but no that is not what is causing my acne because as I have always been saying that there is a lot 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 more to acne than just makeup. I know where you guys come from when you uh, tell me that the makeup is causing acne because you see me doing makeup on camera and you saw me developing acne so that point is right but there is a lot of other things that go on when this camera is off in my life as well so i would want to talk about a lot other factors that can contribute to your acne and the top five lifestyle changes that i have been making in my life so that my mental health physical health appearance skin hair, hair everything is in place so yeah if you are interested keep on watching this video till the very very end i promise it is going to be very very informative and helpful and if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Sony Mishra. I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. So please take out a moment and hit that red subscribe button. We are very close to hitting 1K and I'm super excited. And also hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now without any further blabbering, let's just dive right into this video. Now there is no one product that you have acne There are a lot of other things that contribute to your acne causing as well as your acne treatment. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind while you're dealing with acne is stress. So as in when the stress levels increase in your body, it causes hormonal changes in your body which in turn shows up on your skin in the form of acne. Now I know in today's lifestyle mein everybody is stressed for one reason or the other but you need to keep this in mind that stress causes acne, acne causes stress and this keeps on going in an unending loop but you need to break this loop right here itself and I know it is easier said than done but believe me I am talking with personal experience because I have been through it and I believe that is the major factor that caused my acne in the very first place. Find out ways that work for you to reduce your stress levels. You can journal your thoughts you can meditate, you can read books, you can go out for a walk. Whenever you feel super stressed, you can do anything that works for you. You need to figure that out on your own. And trust me, once you start doing that, once you actively start thinking about your mental health, it will show up on your skin and your acne will reduce to a lot of extent. That is what I have noticed with my acne. Now talking about the second thing that is your diet. There is no one size fits all when it comes to diet or nutrition for your skin. But there is one thing you need to keep in mind when you are dealing with acne is to eat healthy because I know acne causes a lot of stress and there are a lot of people like me who are stress eaters. Comment down below if you relate to this. So I am one such person who keeps eating and eating and eating when I'm stressed. So working on my stress levels has increased my ability to stop uh, craving for such junk foods. That has again been a very, very positive change in my life. So say I have been working on my health internally and externally. So I have changed a lot in my diet, I have stopped eating junk food, I have left it completely but now I have started eating more healthier options uh, rather than eating chips and fries whenever I am craving something I tend to eat makhanas, the fox nuts, those are more fibrous and healthier for the body and I eat a lot of fruits whenever I am hungry and I try to stay away from oily food so because I am eating less oily food uh, so my acne has been a lot better because of that as well so when i talk about eating healthy and nutritional foods there are a lot of natural supplements that i have incorporated in my diet and i wanted to share a couple of them here in today's video so that it might help you out as well so the two most important things that i have been taking and that have been working really great for my acne are these two juices from nutri org so this is their amla juice and this is their aloe vera juice so as you all know aap sabki mamiya bhi bolti hongi bachpan mein to eat amla that increases your your eyesight and it increases your hair health as well it also improves your skin health because it is a very rich source of vitamin c and mineral it even helps in detoxifying your body and it is even good if you are suffering with diabetes or hypertension and 
again it is really good for your eyes hair and your skin it boosts your immunity and also improves your rbc count now not only does it promotes your hair growth it also helps in improving your brain health and your memory so it is really really good now you can eat amla if you can but i cannot eat amla in its raw form so i prefer taking this juice i just take it as a medicine i just gulp it down second juice that i want to talk about here is the aloe vera juice again from Nutri-Org. First of all, might I say these bottles are so very cute. These little jars of these juices are just so cute. And uh, talking about this aloe vera juice, this again has so many benefits. Now, aloe vera again in Indian houses is used for so many different reasons. And it is very, very good for your body as well. It helps you with hydrating your body, detoxifying your body. It is good for your skin as well. It helps in reducing acne. Other than that, it is also really great in relieving constant patient or your menstrual cramps so all in all it has so many benefits for your health and body i have been using these two juices regularly in my diet and they have been working so great for me especially when it comes to my acne i have another two things that i wanted to show so this one is the nutriorg uh, apple cider vinegar and this is the nutriorg rose water I haven't started using them yet because apple cider vinegar, I just hate apple cider vinegar's taste and just the thought of drinking it eeks me out so but the re this rose water smells so beautiful i have used it twice as a toner and uh, it is an edible rose water so you can also drink it and it will work internally for your body and it is going to improve your skin health but this I just can't but yeah if you're facing dehydration this is very good for that apparently so I'm gonna link all these products in the description box below so make sure you check them out these products are really really working great for me Now that being said, let's move to the third lifestyle change that I have made that is reducing dairy and sugar in my diet because being an oily skin person, you might relate to this that whenever we start eating a lot of dairy product, it shows up on the skin, the acne, the pimple, it just gets worse and worse and same goes with sugar. So I have limited my dairy intake and I just stick to one glass of milk and that too in my morning coffee because I need my morning coffee to be the tastiest in this world I and I cannot start my day with black coffee anymore and for my sugar intake I have switched to sugar free jaggery and honey it has been a very very long time since I have been on a sugar cut and uh, I use sugar free instead of uh, sugar I also use uh, jaggery sometimes and this honey from Nutri-Org is so tasty it the bottle looks cute and the taste is amazing and apparently this is wild raw and pure honey you can use this in your face masks you can eat it on its own you can use this as an alternative to sugar there are so many benefits and uses you can uh, make out of this so this is again a thing that i have been loving from nutriorg so again i'll link it in the description you can check it out Moving to the fourth lifestyle change that I have made is working out as I said that from the past one year I have been focusing a lot on my physical and mental health I have started working out I started with yoga and meditation but that didn't work out for me so I started going to gym if you guys follow me on Instagram you might be seeing my regular fitness updates I keep posting a lot of uh, stories from my gym so that is one thing that I have been doing and it helped me a lot in losing weight and once I lost weight it actually showed a lot of difference in my body. I feel so much more confident in my body and it is showing up on my skin as well. The time since I started losing weight, my menstrual cycle is on point. I get my periods on the exact date that I expect them on. And due to that, my hormonal health has been a lot better and my acne has reduced tremendously since then. So that I believe is another factor that has played a very vital role when it comes to reducing my acne. And I'm very, very thankful that I started working out. 
going to talk about the two very very important things uh, that you need to do for yourself if you are facing a lot of acne and that is one drink a lot of water you need to stay hydrated from within it will help your skin very very much you will see that glow you will see that hydrated plump skin if you drink a lot of water and that is one thing I, uh, that I never miss on I have been very very particular about my water intake and the other thing that I have been working on and I am still not able to get that right is my sleep schedule it is very very important for you to take at least eight hours of sleep in the night because that really is a beauty sleep when you sleep for eight hours every day you see a lot of difference in the way you feel in the way you think and in the way your skin behaves but that is something that I haven't been able to achieve I have been trying a lot to uh, fix my sleep schedule but due to so much of workload I am just not able to fix my sleep schedule uh, yet but I'm sure I will someday or the other but yeah these were the top five or six lifestyle changes that I think have contributed so much to my acne and my skin has been so much better than before so if you guys are missing out on these things you must 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 incorporate them in your life and you will see a difference in your skin in your mental health in your physical appearance and the way you think you feel everything is going to change once you start actually taking care of yourself so yeah these were all the things that I wanted to talk about and share with you guys uh, the products that I mentioned in this video I will link in the description box below so you can check them out these are really really working great for me so yeah with this I will end today's video I hope you found today's video helpful and if you did please consider hitting the like button and tell me in the comment box below what other kind of videos you would want me to make if any questions you have drop them in the comment as well I would love to answer them and also if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so now we are so close to hitting 1k and I'm super excited and also hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video now I will see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye